Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I'm cleaning some fish that I caught this morning. Uh, I didn't attempt to film fishing. We went, I took my brother-in-law to, uh, to a pond up here and we caught some brim. I'm experimenting with my fillet knife I made. I don't like it. This sweeping up tip's got to go. It's it's dangerous. I've actually done stuck it, part of it in my finger there a little bit. Not bad, but it, I can see where, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how I done took to cleaning my brim. I, I don't, this is just about the simplest way. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you this, during the winter, I don't wanna do it this way. When it's cold, I ain't interested in playing in all this water. So it ain't good then, but right now it's hot. You don't mind getting wet. I just, the grass needs water anyway. This is the way I'm, I ain't saying it's the best way. It's just, it's just kind of what I have took to, so. Now I got a couple of knives. I have done it with both. This one actually works good, but I'm I like my fishing knives. So what I am doing here, I mean, let me adjust the camera. So I'm taking it and cutting in on both sides right here a little bit. Get under that fin there. And then I turn him around and I am just cutting. And I'm doing it this way for a purpose, and I'll explain that here in a minute cutting down that backbone till I get right down here where I can get past it. I'm going through and I'm coming almost out. I'm stopping right there. Go right here and stop. And then I'm coming in on the top side. Ooh, I think I got a piece of a bone on that one. No, yeah, yeah, I do. I got a piece of a bone right there. I didn't come up for it. Okay, and then I come right there and look, got that out. Okay, lay that back in there and leave it there. And I'll tell y'all why I'm doing it like this in a minute. Let's just get it done first. Get them cut all the way down to the ribs. And these ain't giant brim. I did catch a few good ones, but most of them were about this size. Stopping right there. And then you can do this either way. You can start right up here. And a lot of people are cut from the inside and you can fillet over that rib section. Pull your meat back. I'm leaving this much. So what I am left with is a tail and both sides of this fillet off of a brim. So what my plan is with this method, and, and these right here, I done got down to some little ones, and just for the camera's sake, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna scale them with this fish knife, cause I, some of y'all hadn't seen this work. Lay this fillet, this down like this, and man, look how that thing just slides up under them scales. My only problem, reason I don't like doing it this way, is I've still got all these scales piled up up here, that then I gotta wash all somewhere and, and I still gotta take the water hose now and wash the fish off and still gotta wash this off. So that, that's that's the reason that I ain't using any scaler. It ain't that, hey, one scaler. But y'all, this little, old, this is how you scale with this. Lay this down and go right there. We'll do nothing with it. Uh, that now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. I guess I'm gonna attempt to do it the same way. So what my plan is, is I wanna smoke some of these fish. Uh, obviously, you probably done seen that in the title. And uh, I'm not gonna do it today, it'll be tomorrow when I decide to fire the smoker up. And I'm gonna just see how it works. I've never done it. So I can't sit here and say how well it's gonna work. It's one of the things that I wanna experiment. I have seen it done before on, on the internet, on the old interweb. And I thought I would try it with these.
and I probably do sharpening this knife. Feels like I haven't. I actually ain't been toting this one. I have got a host of these things. I got another one right here, just like it in my pocket. I'm putting these fish in my ice cream, but. So I got two or three more little ones and then I got a few crappie and I'm gonna go ahead and do the crappie the same way. We'll scale this one right here on camera for you. So you take that fish and you see how that just, look at there, look at them scales. This is why this scaler is the best scaler. Scales ain't just flying all over everywhere with them spoons and scrapers and all that. So. I mean, you, you you look at this. Oh, I messed up right there a little bit. But for the most part, I don't know why. I, I tell you what, a fish is a lot harder to scale after he's been on ice than he is just fresh out of the pond, lukewarm in water. So bear that in mind. But see, you can wipe that off, but you still, I, I like to wash it. And then you wind up with all this mess. And I got a tripod I'm doing here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See if we can do it with this now. I think this is a little sharper. You just stick that in there and go to the backbone. And I ain't real proficient with this, y'all. I ain't like an expert, no. There's some old boys that can do this lickety split. They probably look, watching me right now going, man, you making a mess out of that fumbling around. One fella, he talked about how clumsy I was in the boot. I couldn't catch fish because I made too much racket and I had too much fun. And, and, and I done about, I don't know what all. He was all kind of mad at me for some reason. I just laughed about it went on because I was the one with a cooler of fish and he was the one sitting on the couch with a bucket of tater chips watching me catch fish. <laughs> it's all right. It takes all kinds to get on the internet. They let everybody on the internet these days. I appreciated him watching though, telling me how terrible I was, letting me know he didn't like me. I started to tell him, well, I love you too. <laughs> That'd have burned him up, wouldn't it? Ah. So see, we, 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 we got some, I'm gonna try to hang these over a stick. I got, uh, oh, hey, one more, one more big old bream in there. <laughs> these, these things, boy, 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 boy. This is a lot easier, though. This one is a little way to do probably squirt me right in the face again in a minute after I done. I had all these knives out here experimenting one thing, reason I got a pocket full of them out here to, to see, I, I want to get my fillet knife to where I can market it. I'm not happy with it yet. There'll be a fillet knife coming at some point, but I'm gonna get my design down to what I like before we release a fillet knife. And I ain't, I ain't near about happy with that. So we still waiting on me to get it right. Probably cause I'm too clumsy a knife maker. <laughs> I have fun with them old boys on there. They get, they get jealous on there when they see me catching fish. Start looking for stuff to complain about how they, because it makes them feel like they ain't good, or I don't know what it is. I don't think I'm a better fisherman than nobody else. 
I tell you what it is, they watching me fish while they at work. <laughs> and that's what's burning their tails up. I guarantee you that's what it is. Don't, don't be watching me fish while you at work. Well, do if you want to, but don't let it make you mad. Well, I got another bone that time. I don't think I need to be cutting them that direction right there. Uh, I tell you what I think I need is to go in there and, and that thing there won't cut it all. I done cut wall or something with it. And it a case. I'm going to have to go sharp now. I'm going to be honest with y'all about them. That queen is hard to beat. The case Look at the difference in the length. But now the case is more comfortable to take your pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and do one of these crappie on camera. I think I'm gonna scale it with this queen fish scaler. Because I am leaving the skin on there and I just wanted somebody to see me scale one of these crappies with it. Look at that, how quick that went. Good Lord, that thing bad news on a scale of the fish. I've had people, I don't know why they so against it. I'll do another in a minute with this scaler so y'all can see just how fast that worked. Because <laughs> it, it, it's, they keep saying, oh, spoon's better or this. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, no, it ain't. <laughs> You might think it is, but I didn't try it all of it. I wouldn't be sitting here bragging on this fish scaler on this knife if I didn't honestly believe it was the best. All right, I'm gonna do this, I think, with my... Cause I'm gonna attempt to smoke these crappies too. And they're a little bit bigger fish and a little bit more easier to Do. And I done zoomed in and showed y'all how to do it. I'm just letting y'all now see me doing it. And I know there's a little dab of meat and you can cut and whir, but now for the amount of time, I'm going to tell you, I think it's easier just to go right there and then come right there and you got that whole chunk of meat, flip it over. I need to turn it around. I'm left-handed. And I keep my hand up there on that fish to hold him still. And that's why I don't like that pointed. And then when I go through right here, this sweeping up tilt keeps digging in behind them reels. I, that's why I'm not, I'm not liking it. I'm gonna have to do away with that. I just got less control, I think, over my. Ow! Look at that sharp part of that scaler up there, ain't it? So anyway, anyway, you see what I got? All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning. I'm gonna let y'all see this scaler one more again. Big old crappie. See this queen knife? Watch this. Look how that joker just, I mean, just lay it down. And, ow, I stuck that fin up in my finger. Got all excited because that scaler was working so good. That's dangerous, ain't it? I mean, all the way up the fish, one whack. You see that? I promise you ain't no spoon going to do it and not have a scale. And look where all these scales are, right here in one spot. I can easily wash them off. Rake them off of there. 
look, all the scales is right here in one pile. I still don't like this because I still got to wipe them off and rake them off and all of that. So I don't, still don't like it. But when it comes to scalers, that's the way to go. So I'm going to finish cleaning all my fish and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. Tomorrow I'll pick this video back up and we're going to put them probably in the smokehouse. I may do it on a smoker. I'm going to do a little more research on how I want to do it. But I'm going to attempt to smoke these fish. Probably just smoking them to eat. And we're going to do some experimenting. So y'all hang with me. We'll see you in the morning. Y'all, it's Monday morning. I've got my fish right here. And I'm going to just do a salt brine. So I'm just going to add some salt into this water. And then I'm going to mix it up. And I'm gonna let them soak in the refrigerator for uh, most of the day, probably somewhere around one, two, three o'clock, I don't know. I'm gonna light this smoker behind me. I've got to build a rack to hang these fish on up there on it. And I have some stuff to, to do it. Uh, I'm making use, I've got these racks I need to clean it up. But I may can stand this up on something and hang the fish over these, but that needs a lot of cleaning up. I'll do all that off camera. But I just wanted to let you know that I am salt brining these fish. So when I get all this other set up this afternoon, I'll pick it back up and we'll get on with the program. I went and cut up me some pieces of pecan off of a tree over yonder, and I broke up some, some limbs and stuck them all up in there. And I'm gonna try to light this. Stuff, we had to dip it in gas to get it to light. Does anybody out there make something that works better? I don't even know what company this is. I hated to stick a pine knot in there because it smoked so bad. We'll give that a few minutes. See if it works. So while we wait to see if that's gonna catch up or not, we'll take a look at what I have fabricated in here for a rack. Come on. I got my faux bricks. And I had this little old rack like this. Now these legs are sticking out and I had to I had to take them down there to the anvil and persuade them to go into a different position. So what I'm gonna do is leave it down like this, hang my fish over it have them hanging in there and raise it up and then stand that up like this. Follow what I'm telling you here, Ham. And then what, I got a few pieces that I may lay on this because some of them I was excited and I cut the tail off before I realized what I was doing. Y'all will do it too, don't worry. So let's see how this works. 
I cook chicken on this the other day. Got some chicken grease on that. They say to clean that with onion. My wife's real happy about that air conditioner right there, you know, pulling air in and all this smoke gonna be right here in the vicinity. I'll show you how proud of me she is. <laughs> it blows, the air conditioner I get in trouble every way I turn about everything I do. It ain't like that around y'all's place, I know. <laughs> It'd be all right, though. We're going to have smoked fish. All right, y'all. I got my fish right here in this ice cream bucket. It's been in salt water brine all day. And you see, like, this is a crappie right here on the table. So I'm going to lay this over. I don't know how this is going to work, y'all. I, I, I really don't, all right? So, oh, I got to figure out the best way to do this. And that mess done got hot. I think what I need to do right now, I need to stand that up, stand that up. Let's set this on it like that. All right. And then I'll figure out what I'm doing about hanging it in there. I want to see if I got, oh yeah, that's going to be just right, y'all. That's going to be just right. See, I told y'all I had some pieces right here. I'm gonna just lay them in there. I had some, I got happy a couple of laying. Alright, let's see how we do about getting this uh, on back up in there. I'm going to have to turn that that way because i got to have room for my grill to close.
Oh yeah, we did good. good. They dripping water, so I realized the sun was all in the camera, but y'all look oh. in there. We'll get it shut. We're going to let it cook, I don't know, several hours uh -huh. and see what happens. This evening sun is just between the roof and going down below the trees, so we'll have some shade under in a minute. Um, I keep y'all updated. We're gonna see how they turn out. I think it's gonna be delicious. Of course, we cook it with no seasoning. I mean, it's just salt brine, so it's gonna taste like fish. Y'all, some of this fish fell down. I got my spatula out. What that it stuck, you know. And this is a learning experience for me. I had never done this before. We're gonna lose part of that. Hot. Don't wrong though, but ain't good. Now I smoked catfish on tinfoil. Y'all remember when I made that dip? Okay. I did not want this to be moist and like that was. I wanted to get this. I really wanted to preserve it like in the smokehouse. And we're going to try that, but we're going to wait till it cools off a little bit. It's 100 and something degrees outside, and the fly is just thick as hair on the dog's back. I ain't trying. But this hanging up up here, I think is going to be what done the best. It's pretty good though. I mean, it's, it's just cooked. I'm going to zoom in. Let y'all get a good look at what it looks like. In North Bend vernacular, I'll say I'm pretty compressed about it. <laughs> Fish tail. I got me some pretty good shots of it right there, so I'm gonna use some of that for the thumbnail. I've been grinding and making knives. That's why I'm so nasty. And I'm the only one gonna eat any of this, more than likely Brody might try it. So before I get all that pretty up there, I'm just nipping on this, it crumbled all up on the bottom. Let's see if Brody wants to taste of it, see what he thinks. We'll get a real opinion then. Well, I finally got him out here. He's over there sucking down my glass of orange juice now. We, we buy that high dollar. Always safe, cheap. <laughs> it's just as good to me. Come in. Won't you try a piece of fish? You try this piece. That's a Brody sized piece. Get a hope to it, don't drop it on the floor. Bite into it, bite a piece off. Look, I'm eating it. You rather have this piece. Who's your time and tell him? He was scared he wasn't gonna like it, what it amounted to. You want another piece? Here, hold it good, it's gonna break and fall. It's hot, it's hot. It ain't hot. Hold it good. You didn't like this one? 
Well, hold it, but it breaks. Ouch. Oh, it's broken. Yeah, it's, it's what? Too crunchy. Too crunchy? It ain't crunchy. It's crunchy. Crunchy. Come here, Roscoe. Come here. Roscoe said it was delicious. I might as well ah. pour us the rest of this orange. Now we got another chicken water. You ain't even eat it. Oh. Give it what you don't eat the rice though. Brody ain't gonna eat enough to save a, a rat. A rat won't eat me, a rat just eats cheese. Brody ain't gonna eat me, a rat just eats cheese. I figure this is gonna break loose. Some of that off at the bottom, ain't we? My rack worked good. I just, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to keep it. See, y'all tell me what I gotta do to keep it from sticking to it so good. I probably should have rubbed olive oil or something on it. I did, I ain't never done this before, so I didn't know what I was dealing with. Um, I think I'll remedy that for the next time, but as far as what it done, I mean, the rack worked good. Well, y'all, that is a plate of smoked fish. And you can see there's some white on some of the edges. But I have to say, y'all, it's they're pretty good. I cooked that on pecan wood. So anyway, well, thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors, us cooking fish. Remember, the best way to do things We'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> That's right.